we love you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you tonight. Glory to God, glory to God. We serve a mighty, mighty God on tonight. Welcome, welcome to this live broadcast tonight where Jesus Christ is still Lord. He is all powerful. All power is in his hands tonight. God is still confirming the word with signs, wonders, and miracles following the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are not ashamed. I said we are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ for it is the power of God and the salvation. Come on and help me give him a praise on tonight. Come on and help me give him a praise tonight. Help me give him glory tonight. Hallelujah. Isn't our God awesome on tonight? Isn't he awesome? I want to welcome our lovely viewers tonight from all over the world tonight. God bless all of you. We really appreciate you taking time out to be a part of these live broadcasts on tonight. And trust me, God, I've given me a word for you. Tonight, after the fire, comes promotion. Are you listening to me tonight? After the fire, comes promotion. I believe there's a group of people on here tonight. You are coming out of the fire, and your promotion is right around the corner. I dare you to put your hands together and help me give them a crazy praise. Come on and help me give him a praise. Help me bless the Lord tonight. Help me bless him tonight. Oh, we love you, Lord. Come on and help me give him praise. We love you, Lord. We love you, we love you, we love you. Oh, we give you the praise tonight. We give you the glory. We give you the honor tonight. We love you, Lord. Oh, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, we love you, we love you. Glory to God. Glory to God. We love you tonight, oh God. Come on, help me give him praise. I feel the Holy Ghost. Come on, help me give the King praise tonight. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty, mighty, mighty God. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I join my faith with every brother, every sister that's tuned into this broadcast on tonight. Dear God, you know all the needs of the people that's going to be on this broadcast tonight. Lord, we pray and we ask you tonight, meet every need. Lift every heavy burden tonight. Destroy yokes. Break shackles. Set the captives free. Heal the sick. Encourage the discouraged tonight. Mend together the brokenhearted tonight. Save the lost. Be glorified through this broadcast. Lord, I bind the devil right now. Satan, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Come on, use your authority. Help me bind this lying devil tonight. Satan, we bind you. We take authority over you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind every foul and unclean spirit. Every principality, every power, every ruler of the darkness of this world, we bind you in the name of Jesus. The blood of the Lord Jesus is against you tonight, Satan. I apply the blood of the Lord Jesus on every viewer tonight, on every marriage, every son, every daughter, every mom, every dad, every grandma, every granddad. I apply the blood. Hey. Yes, Lord. I apply the blood. 
I apply the blood of Jesus. Pour the Holy Ghost out tonight, God. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost let it fall tonight. Let it fall tonight, oh God. Confirm your word. Glory to God. Come on, help me give a praise tonight. Glory to God. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. My God, he's able. I said, my God, he is able. My God, he is able. My God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know where I'm going, huh? God is able. God is able to do. Sing it. Just what he said. Come on. He will do. He's going to fulfill. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Never give up. Don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. Because he's able. Oh, 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 sing it. Oh, oh, oh. Mighty God, sing it. Just go. Oh, 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 oh. Sing, God is able. Sing it. God is able to do just what he said. He would do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. Cause he's able. Oh, 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 oh. come on. Oh, 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 come on and help me give him the praise tonight. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, we love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Come on and help me worship him tonight. We glorify you tonight. We magnify you tonight. We lift you up high tonight, Jesus. Oh, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. God is able. Sing it. God is able to do just what he said he would do he's gonna fulfill he's gonna fulfill every promise to you don't give up on god because he won't give up on you because he's able oh oh oh, 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 oh. Come on and help me praise my God for my sin. Oh, 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 we love you, Lord. Sing it. Oh, 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 God is able. Oh, God is able to do just what he said he would do. Do you believe that tonight? He's going to fulfill every promise to you don't give up don't give up on god because he won't give up on you because he's able oh oh come on church i feel a praise tonight we love you lord oh oh oh, oh, oh. Come on! Oh, 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 he's able, 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 my God, my God. He's able tonight. He's able. Because he's able. He's able. Come on, put your hands together tonight. And help me sing it. He's able. Sing it. Because he's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. 
He's able. Come on and help me praise Him. Help me worship Him. Help me magnify the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. God is able. God is able to do just what He said He would do. He's going to fulfill. Do you believe it? He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, because He won't give up on you. Because He's able to oh, hold. Oh, 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 oh. We love you tonight, God. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor tonight. Listen. You know, in that moment while we're worshiping God right now, somebody have fractured their right knee. Your right knee, the Holy Ghost showed it to me. Your right knee is being completely healed by the power of God right now. So just lay your hands on that right knee. Receive that miracle. Begin to bend that right knee back and forth. Begin to bend that leg with that right knee problem back and forth. Begin to walk around on it. The power of God was just released. Someone receive a miracle in the right knee. You are completely healed by the power of God. There's no swelling. There's no pain. There's no aches. God is able to see. God, God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, because he won't give up on you. Because he's able, oh, 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 we love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Because he's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. Say, he's able. He's able. He's able. He's able, come on, he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able, sing, he's able, he's able, he's able, we love you Lord, we love you Lord, mighty God, mighty God, Mighty God, we love you, Lord. Because He's able, He's able, He's able, He's able. Sing it with me. He's able, He's able, He's able. Come on and sing it with me tonight. Because He's able, He's able, He's able. Come on, church. He's able. He's able, he's able, my God is able tonight, he's able tonight, he's able, he's able, come on and type it in the chat right now, he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able. come on church, He's able, 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 come on, he's able, 
He's able. He's able. God is able. God is able to do just what He said He would do. He's gonna fulfill. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause He won't give up on you, cause He's able. Oh, 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 oh. I'm in love with Jesus tonight, man. I'm in love with Jesus. He is my everything tonight. Lord, I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Jesus. Come on and let me give him the praise tonight. Lord, we give you the glory. We give you the honor tonight. We give you the glory. We give you the honor tonight. We give you the praise tonight. Come on and give it to him tonight. Give him the glory. Give him the honor tonight. Give him the praise tonight. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. We love you, Lord, tonight. Jesus, we love you. Jesus, we give you the praise tonight. Master, we honor you tonight. We honor you tonight, Jesus. If it wasn't for your blood, we wouldn't even be here right now. Thank you for the blood. Thank you, Lord. 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 Give him a cop offering right now. Give him a cop offering tonight. My God, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Give him a clap offering tonight. Give him a clap offering tonight. Clap your hands unto the Lord, all you people. Come on and give him a clap offering tonight. Come on and clap those hands tonight. Clap those hands to the Lord. Give him a clap offering tonight. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. God is able, God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill, he's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, because he won't give up. On you, cause he's able. Oh, 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 oh. I feel the Holy Ghost tonight. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, church. Oh, 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 oh. Cause he's able. 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 Oh Lord, we love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. 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 Oh, someone's being delivered right now. Someone's being delivered right now. That weight, that heaviness be lifted from off your shoulders as we praise him tonight. Oh, 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 oh. Sing. 
tonight. Come on, let's give him a clap tonight. I feel the Lord is receiving our worship tonight. He is receiving our worship tonight. My God, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Give him a clap tonight. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, we love you tonight. We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mighty God. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you. Down. You are the risen, you are the risen King. You see it in majesty, see it in majesty. You are the risen King. Sing it to the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won it all. You have won it all for me. Death cannot hold you down. You are the risen King. You see it in majesty. You are the risen King. Sing to the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Sing with me tonight, church. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death cannot hold you down. You are the risen king. You are the risen king. You're seated in majesty. Seated in majesty, you are the risen King. Sing it tonight, Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. You are the risen King. Seated in majesty. 
of the risen King. Excuse me. <coughs> Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Sing it to the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. You have won it all. You have won it all for me. Death cannot hold you down. You are the risen King. Seated in majesty. You are the risen King. Come on, let's put our hands together and give Him praise tonight. Come on, help me give Him a praise. Help me give the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords a praise tonight. Oh, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, we love you, we love you. Come on and help me love on him tonight. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, Lord. We give you the glory, the honor, and the praise tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, we love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Come on and love on him tonight. Come on and love on the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Mighty, 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 mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. God will make a way. Pastor, yeah. God will make a way when there seems to be no way. Forever sing it. Forever he is faithful. He will make a road when you bear a heavy load. I know God will make away come on and sing it to the lord god will make a way when there seems to be no way forever he is faithful he will make a road when you bear a heavy I know God will make a way. Do you believe that tonight? Sing it. God will make a way when there seems to be no way. Forever he is faithful. He will make a road. When you bear a heavy load, I know God will make a way. Listen, right now, I want to give all of you a chance to sow a seed into this ministry. We're about to receive the offering for this ministry. And we know what the Word of God says. We believe the Word of God. The Apostle Paul said, God is able to multiply. Listen to this. This is from 2 Corinthians. The Apostle Paul, the Apostle Paul said, God is able to multiply your seed sown. So when you give into the kingdom of God, you are not losing at all. You are setting yourself up for increase. Because as we give into the work of God, we do it because we love God. We do it out of obedience. And the Bible says, when you give, the Apostle Paul said, God is able to multiply whatever you sow into the kingdom of God. Because God loves a cheerful giver. 
the person who gives sparingly, that's the person who want to be tight fist towards God. He will reap sparingly. But the apostle Paul said, the person who gives bountifully, who gives generously to help the kingdom of God, to support the work of God. The apostle Paul said, that person will reap bountifully. Are you listening to me? We know the word in Luke 6, 38, give and it will be given back to you. How? Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over will men give into your bosom. The Bible says, bring all the tithe into the storehouse, the tithe and the offering, and prove me now, here which said God, that there may be meat in my house, money, whatever it is, to support the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And God says, I will open unto you. Not a man, God says, I will do it. I will open unto you. The windows, not just one window, he says, I'll open unto you the windows of heaven and pour you out. God is not stingy. He will pour you out a blessing that you will not have room enough to receive. Those windows are opportunities. Those windows are God opening doors, granting you favor with man, the raise on the job. Are you listening to me? That brand new job that's paying you to help you meet your needs. Are you hearing me? To take care of your bills, to put food on the table, to keep a roof over your head, to pay the car note, to pay off your mortgage. Are you listening to me? God will open the windows of heaven. Your business will increase. Your clients, your clientele will increase. God is not a stingy God. God wants to bless you beyond measure. Are you listening to me? That's why the Bible, that's why Paul says, God is able to multiply your seed sown. So when you give into the kingdom of God, you are setting yourself up for a financial breakthrough because Paul says God will multiply the seed that you have sown. And listen to what Paul said about the Philippians offering. Paul says the offering, the seed that you've sown to support the work of God, the apostle Paul said, it came up before God as a sweet smelling savor in the nostrils of God. And that was the group of people that Paul said, as a result of your support for the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, my God, Philippians 4, 19, he said, my God, but my God shall supply all. I dare you to open your mouth and say, he will supply all. The apostle Paul says, but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. So whatever you give into the kingdom of God, and this is why I'm taking my time to share the word of God on the subject of giving and receiving, because when you give to God tonight, I want you to give in faith. I want you to give in expectation of receiving a harvest back to God. You know, in the old in the old days, some of us were taught wrong. We were taught, oh, just give to God and don't expect nothing back. Well, that's not biblical. That's not being spiritual. That's foolishness. So God said, when you give into my kingdom in obedience, God says, expect it to come back multiplied many times over. Look at what he said in Mark chapter 10, verse 29 and 30. The apostle Peter said, look. We've forsaken everything to follow you. What are we going to get, Jesus? Because we got families. Jesus said, I got you covered, Peter. He said, whatever you do for my sake, it's personal. It has to do with relationship. He said, whatever you do for my sake and the gospel, he said, you will receive it back 100 fold. You'll get it back more than 100 times. Now, in this lifetime, he says, you will get houses, you will get lands, I'll give your mothers, I'll give your brothers, I'll give your sisters. God have multiple ways of bringing the harvest back to you. He will bring people into your life who will treat you like real family. In fact, they'll treat you better than what your real family would treat you. Are you listening to me? And he promised to provide a roof over your head. Are you listening to me tonight? He is a faithful God. He is not stingy. So whatever it is that the Holy Ghost places on your heart tonight, to sow into the kingdom of God. I want you give in faith. I want you give in faith, expecting it to be multiplied back to you.
because that's God's way. He said the blessings of God will come on you and overtake you. He said I'll make you the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath. My God, I'll bless the work of your hands. You'll be blessed coming in, going out. Are you listening to me? Are you ready to be blessed like that? I want to pray, pray God will make a way. Father, I pray over the offerings of all who are about to sow right now into the kingdom of God. I pray that you bring increase into their lives. I pray that the seeds that they sow tonight will be multiplied to the point that you will meet all the needs in their lives. That their debts would be canceled. Help them to pay off their mortgages. Their automobile notes, God. Pay off that medical bill. That college, that college student loan. Help them to pay it off. Make your people to become a debt-free people, God. Bless them beyond measure, God. Bless them beyond measure. Lift every financial burden. I rebuke the spirit of poverty from off you tonight. I said I rebuke the spirit of poverty. The devil of lack in your life that's trying to eat up all of your finances. I rebuke the devil. Satan, loose their finances. Take your hands off. Take it off. In the name of Jesus, I declare increase in your life. I declare increase in your life. We release the favor of God in your life. In your life. Favor with God and man. Favor. Somebody shout, Favor. Lord, we love you. Oh, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, we love you, we love you. Look, so to give right now, you can give through the Ministry Secure website, which is seanpinder.net forward slash give. seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the Ministry PayPal account, which is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pender Ministries, paypal.me forward slash Sean Pender Ministries. The information is right on the screen. If you prefer to mail in your donations, make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pender Ministries, P.O. Box 117442, Carrollton, Texas, 75010-7442. Oh, we serve a good God. We serve a good God. We declare increase over your life. I say we declare increase. What's that? Whoa, praise God. That's uh, this person, Primary uh, Logistics Solutions LLC, said after last Thursday prayers, I was blessed with $1,300 down payment for my new car. Thank you, God. And I give you all the glory. Oh, don't tell me so and reaping doesn't work. This is ordained by God. Someone help me give that, help me give God a praise for that testimony. Hallelujah. Oh, come on and help me give him a praise. Help me give him a praise. The windows of heaven are open tonight. Yeah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord. So, so listen, you can go online right now, seanpinder.net forward slash give. Also, you can scroll over the, my son didn't put the link in there. It's all right. Okay, no problem. I think he did. It's okay. He's, it's there. Well, listen, you can just scroll below the video. If you look below the video, there's the PayPal link and there's the ministry website link for you to give online right now. I'm about to move on, but I feel there's an anointing here. God will make a way. Sing it. God will make 
the way Sing it When there seems to be no way Forever Forever He is faithful Sing He will make a road When you bear a heavy load I know God will make a way God will sing God will make a way He's going to do it When there seems to be no way Forever, forever He is faithful He will make a road When you bear a heavy load I know God will make a way. Sing it one more time. We go into the word. God will make a way when there seems to be no way. Forever, forever, He is faithful. He will make a road when you bear a heavy load. I know God will make a way. God will make a way. God. Isn't he an awesome God on tonight? Forever he is faithful. He will make a road. When you bear a heavy load I know God Let's sing it one more time God will make a way When there seems to be no way Sing it to the Lord Forever He is faithful He will make a road when you bear a heavy load I know God will make a way it's time for the word of God on tonight are you ready for the word on tonight <laughs> after the fire comes promotion after the fire comes Promotion. Oh, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Hallelujah. After the fire comes promotion. I dare you to type it in the chat right now. After the fire, not before. After the fire comes promotion. God's given me a word to you tonight. Glory to God. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as we are about to go into the word of God, minister to your people on tonight. Touch every single person that's on this live broadcast. Don't allow not even one person to be missed or overlooked tonight. Take this word and multiply it, just like you did the five loaves and the two fish among the 5,000 men beside women and children. Everybody walked away filled and satisfied. Let that happen tonight with the word of God. Minister to your people. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Someone say a good amen right there. Mighty, mighty, mighty God. Now on tonight, this is what the Holy Ghost have placed in my heart to share with you guys. After the fire comes promotion. Not before the fire. You see, we live in a day and time now where people, <clears throat> excuse me, where folk want to go straight in the, I'm talking about in the body of Christ now. Us who are saved, Christian people. We live, we live in a generation where people just want to get promoted in the kingdom of God without going through the fire, 
without being tried, without being tested. That's not biblical. That's not scriptural. That's why, that's why I don't care who you are. Everybody in the body of Christ will experience some level of intense persecution, trials, and even tribulation. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 12, and all that will live godly for Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. So if you are planning on living right for the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible also says, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind, because as Christ Jesus himself also suffered, we are going to suffer as well. So the Bible says, arm yourselves with the same mind. That means prepare to suffer. You know, the apostle Peter says, and I believe it's first or second Peter, he said, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing had happened unto you. He said, don't think it strange concerning the fiery trials. Are you guys listening to me tonight? So when you go through the fire, when you go through trials and tribulation, the apostle Peter said, this is not nothing new for us that are saved. This is the order of the day. Are you listening to me? And this brings us, this brings us to a passage of scripture in the book of Daniel chapter three. Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, these men were carried off out of the land of Judah into the Babylonian captivity under King Nebuchadnezzar. And the Bible says Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, <clears throat> excuse me, they refused to eat the unclean food and they live according to the word of God. And as a result of them willing to take a stand and keep themselves pure, the Bible says in Daniel chapter one, I believe verse 17 says, God gave them wisdom, knowledge and understanding and all skill and learning. And when they stood before King Nebuchadnezzar, the Bible says Daniel and his friends were 10 times wiser. So King Nebuchadnezzar was impressed with these men and he gave them a level of promotion. Are you listening to me? Now, <coughs> excuse me, when we come into, sir, I'll tell him put on 71. When we come to the book of Daniel, chapter three, King Nebuchadnezzar now, you know, just like some, some kings, they just think, they, they think they're bigger than God sometimes. And they think they deserve the worship and the glory and the honor. So the Bible says in Daniel chapter three, verse one, King Nebuchadnezzar made a gold statue 90 feet tall. I'm reading from the New Living Translation. I'm, I'm using the New Living Translation. He made a gold statue 90 feet tall and nine feet wide and set it up on the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. Now listen to this. Then he sent messengers to the high offices, officials, governors, advisors, treasurers, judges, magistrates, and all the provincial officials to come to the dedication of the statue he had set up. Now you know there's gonna be trouble. Now watch this. Verse three says, so all these officials, they came and stood before the statue King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Then a herald came out and shouted, people of all races and nations and language, listen to the king's command. When you hear the sound of the horn, the flute, the zither, the lyre, the harp, and the pipes, and other musical instruments, bow to the ground to worship King Nebuchadnezzar's gold statue. Anyone, listen to this devil now, because this devil, this devil is, I'm telling you what, he is heavy into intimidation. Are you listening to me? Intimidation, manipulation, and fear. The devil is very heavy involved in that. Listen to this, the Bible says, anyone, this is what they said, this is what this man is declaring before the people, anyone who refuses, anyone who refuses to obey will immediately be thrown into a blazing fiery furnace. Now this isn't nothing to play with. It's easy for us. You know, you know what amazed me? 
And, and you don't understand this until you begin to mature and grow up in your relationship with God. You know, growing up, this story with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, I was always impressed with these guys. Man, I just I just thought this one of the greatest miracles in the Bible. The story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, until when I begin to grow and mature, I begin to realize by the Spirit of God that for it to be, I want you to hear me real good now, for, for God to give you a massive miracle, for God to give you a massive breakthrough, there have to be a massive trial. Are you listening to me? And I noticed some of the greatest miracles, it did not take place in the Bible when people were living on a flowery bed of ease. Some of the greatest miracles took place in the Bible when people's lives were at the point of death, when they were faced with death. That's when some of the greatest miracles took place in the Bible. And we want God to work great miracles, but we don't want to go through nothing. We, we don't want no one to even talk bad about us before we get our little feelings hurt and go crawling in a corner like a dog with his little tail wound between his legs. So you've got to understand this. If you expect God to give you a great miracle, listen, you are, your back's going to have to be up against it. Without any great trials, there is no great triumphs. That's why the Bible says in the book of James, chapter one, the Bible says, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations because the trying of your faith, the trying of your faith, it works patience. Are you listening to me? And the Bible says, and allow patience to have its perfect work in us that we may be complete and lacking absolutely nothing. Are you hearing me? So if you expect to get a great triumph, you are going to go through a great trial. Are you listening to me? I dare you to open your mouth right now and, tell, and, and just repeat these words. After the fire comes promotion. I feel the Holy Ghost is about to fall in this place tonight. I said after the fire, oh, we're we going to get promoted. I said you're going to get promoted. But you're going to have to go through the fire. You're going to be tried. You're going to be tested. I like the way Job said it. Job said he knows the way that I take. That when he tried me, I'm coming out as pure gold. I dare you to open your mouth and say I'm coming out as pure gold. Help me give him a praise tonight. Hallelujah. Hey! Hallelujah. Yeah. Help me give him a praise right there. I'm coming out as pure gold. I'm coming out as pure gold. Job said it like this. Though he slay me, I'm going to still trust him. I don't care what I have to go through. I will put my trust in the name of the Lord. Shout yes! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory to God! Now watch this. So this devil here is using intimidation. And the Bible says in verse 7, So at the sound of the musical instruments, all the people, whatever their race or nation or language, they all bowed to the ground and begin to worship the gold statue that King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. That's a group of folk there with no backbone. Are you listening to me? No matter what law of the land is passed, they just ready to swallow it all down hook, line, and sinker. But I don't care what country I live in. I'll say it bold and I'll say it proud and bold. I don't care what laws you pass. If it's against the word of the living God, I refuse to compromise. I dare you to open your mouth and say, devil, I refuse to bow. I'm not going to bow because the God that I serve, he is able. I dare you to shout it on the rooftop. 
shout, He is able. 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 My God. My God, my God. Now watch this. So the Bible says everyone else begin to bow and begin to stoop and worship the golden image that King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. But not everybody. Listen to verse 8. Verse 8 says, now watch this. There's going to be trouble because the king's laws now is about to be violated. And, and only people, only people with backbone are willing to violate the king's command. Are you listening to me? The Bible says, but some of the astrologers, they went to the king and informed him on the Jews. Oh, there's going to there, there be some folk willing to betray you because of your faith in the Lord Jesus, but it's going to be all right. Just hang in there. Watch this. They said to King Nebuchadnezzar, long live the king. Anytime you see people coming with their big flattery words, you know they're setting you up to do what they want to do. So they said, long live the king. They got to blow him up real big, you know, so they can, so they can pull off their trickery. They said to the king Nebuchadnezzar, long live the king, you issued a decree requiring that all the people bow down and worship when the sound of the music is played. That decree also states that whoever does not obey your command, they must be thrown into the burning fiery furnace. So we get down to verse 12 and they says, but there are some Jews, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, whom you are put in charge of the province of Babylon, they pay no attention to you, your majesty. <laughs> they refuse to serve your gods and do not worship the gold statue that you have set up. I like, these are my kind of guys here. Yeah. They're willing to go against the green. I like the saying that any dead fish can flow downstream. It takes a live fish. You know the salmon. Those Them salmon are going up against the flow. They're going upstream. They're swimming against it. Do we have any live fish on this broadcast tonight? I'm willing to go upstream. I'm willing to go against the flow. I ain't trying to please everybody. I'm trying to please the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm working for an eternal crown. I can care less if I be rewarded down here. I can care less if they talk good about me down here. Just as long as when I stand before the Lord Jesus Christ, he said, well done, thou good and faithful servant, enter into the joy of the Lord. That's all that matters to me. So the Bible says here, so they, these men, they begin to rat, they begin to gossip, they begin to plot against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and they brought this bad news to the king, that these men have violated his rules. The Bible says in verse 13, isn't this just like the devil? Listen to this. Then Nebuchadnezzar he flew into a rage. He had a fit of rage. He had a fit and ordered that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be brought before him when, listen to this, and when they were brought in, Nebuchadnezzar said to them, watch this now, this devil gonna try to intimidate you, but you got to be willing to take a stand. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. I, that's what the old folks like to say back in the Bahamas there. They said, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Well, I'm standing with the word of God. I'm on the Lord's side. I ain't willing to back down. Are you hearing me tonight? Do I have any people on here tonight that refuse to compromise the word of God, that refuse to lower the standard? My God, we are Christians. If we are Christians, we're going to live like it. Jesus said, let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God and the salvation. It is the power to heal the sick. It is the power to open the eyes of the blind. It is the power to unstop the ears of the deaf. It is the power to loose the tongue of the dumb. It is the power to raise people up that are paralyzed from out of their wheelchairs. It is the power to even raise the dead. It is the power to turn a prostitute into a prophetess, to turn a pimp 
into a preacher. Shout power. Hey, I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. It is the power. It is the power to turn a drug addict into a deacon in the church. Shout power. Jesus said, you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. Shout yes. Hallelujah. I'm not ashamed. Hey. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now watch this. Now watch this. Watch this language of intimidation here. So after King Nebuchadnezzar flew into a rage, listen to this, verse 14. Nebuchadnezzar said to them, is it true? <laughs> you can't intimidate the Holy Ghost. You can't intimidate the Holy Ghost. Listen to this. He's being stern with them. He said, is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you refuse to serve <laughs> or worship, to serve my gods or to worship the gold statue that I have set up? Watch this, watch this, watch this language of intimidation. And I believe some of your boss men, some people in authority over you have been trying to intimidate you lately. Listen to his language. Excuse me, listen to what he said. I will give you one more chance. <laughs> you listening to this? He's trying to scare these guys. He's trying to intimidate them. He's trying to scare them into doing what he wanted them to do. I will give you one more chance. As if he had the last word. I dare you to open your mouth and say, God has the last word in this battle that I'm facing. This situation that I'm in right now, God's got the last word. The king don't have the last word. God is about to give someone a divine override. You know what an override is? When someone with a higher authority steps in and overrule or over, overturn the decision of the person who have a lower level of authority. Now watch this. Listen to what the king said. I will give you one more chance to bow down and worship the statue that I have made when you hear the sound of the musical instruments. But if you refuse, <laughs> listen, listen, this king ain't playing, man. You, you didn't play with these folk back in these days. But if you refuse, you will be thrown immediately into the blazing furnace. And then, I like what this king said because he about to get showed up. And then, what God will be able to rescue you from my power. I feel the devil been issuing some of you some of those threats. But I love what these fellas begin to answer. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied, Oh, Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> Listen to this. We do not need to defend ourselves in this situation. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, I love this, the God whom we serve, my God, that's preaching music right now. The God whom we serve is able to deliver us. He will rescue us from your power. The God that I serve, the God that you serve, he is able, he is able to deliver you from the power of King Nebuchadnezzar. He has the power and the ability to deliver you from this test, from this furnace, from this fire, from this trial, from this tribulation. My Bible says, now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that works in us. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me 
to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me besides the still waters. Even when I walk through the valley and the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil because God is with me. God is on my side. The apostle Paul said, if God be for you, who can be against you? He's given us power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And absolutely nothing shall by any means hurt us. No weapon formed against you will be able to prosper. And every tongue that rise up against you in judgment, it shall be condemned. I dare you to open your mouth and say, God is able. My God, he is able. He is able. Shout yes and give him a praise. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Isaiah. He prophesied it in Isaiah chapter 43. Verse 2, he said, when you pass through the rivers, they'll not overflow you. When you go through the waters, you'll not be drowned. When you go through the fire, you'll not be burned. God is, he is able, he is able. Shout it. God is able. Yes. He is he is able. 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 Now watch this. And then they didn't stop there. Listen. These guys said the God that we serve. He is able to deliver us. From your power O king. But then I love that. The rest of the answer. Then these men they took it a step further. And then they said but king. We're not going to just stop there with all that faith talk. We're going to take it. We're going to take this next level of faith, which is, is the level of sacrifice, willing to die for the gospel. Listen to what they said. They took it a step further. They said, and if God does not deliver us, okay, we still not going to bow. We still not going to worship your idols. We refuse to lower our standards because the word of God declares thou shall love the Lord thy God with all your heart with all your strength with all your might shout yes I refuse to bow I refuse to lower my conviction to please somebody I'm in this to please Jesus shout yes and give him a prayer Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. My God, my God. Now watch this. So when they answered the king like that, in the front of all of his military, his his top, his, his chief leaders, his captains over the military, he got even more in a rage. And he commanded, he said, heat the fire up seven times harder. I'm going to show these men right now who are in charge. And the Bible says he ordered his strongest men in his army to come and tie Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego up. They tied them up. They strapped them up. They had them shackled with chains. Are you listening to me? And the Bible says these were the strong men under King Nebuchadnezzar. They bound Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, hand and foot. And they took Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And they rushed over to the fiery furnace. And they threw them in. My God, my God. Are you listening to me? They threw them into the fire. And those strong men that threw Shadrach, Meshach, 
and Abednego into the fire. The Bible says that the fire, it was so hot that the fire reached out and burned up the strong men. Did you hear what I said just now? I said the strong men who put their hands on Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and bound them up and threw them into the fire. The fire reached out and burn up the strong men in Nebuchadnezzar's army. Are you listening to me? Because the Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. I stop by to tell somebody tonight, the strong man is down. The strong man is down. The strong man have been defeated. It was more than one strong man that it took to tie these men up. But all of a sudden, the strongest men, they were burned up by the fire. They threw them in, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the king said, he looked at his military captains, and he said, wait a minute, something is wrong here. Didn't we tie those men up? Didn't we put them in shackles? And when we threw them in, they should have fallen on their face. They should have broke their nose. The fire should have consumed them. The fire should have burned them up. The fire should have killed them. The fire should have sent them into eternity. Ah, but these men, I don't know how it happened, but I see, I thought we threw three men into the fire, but I see four men marching around in the fire the fire have no power over the men of god god got the last word god jumped into the fire and he took the heat from out of the fire to prove to nebuchadnezzar that i'm able to deliver my people i'm able to save I'm able to heal I'm able to deliver I'm able to set free I'll make a way where there seems to be no way and Nebuchadnezzar said these men are walking around in the fire they are unharmed they are untouched they can't be burned not even smoke can get on their clothes Nebuchadnezzar said I see a fourth man and it looks like the son of God and the Bible says King Nebuchadnezzar he came close to the furnace and he said Shadrach Meshach and Abednego come out of the fire come out of the fire and the Bible says after Nebuchadnezzar after he brought them from out of the fire the Bible says in, in verse 30 then Nebuchadnezzar he promoted Shadrach Meshach and Abednego he gave them a bigger promotion he gave them a higher position he gave them a greater authority I dare you to say it after the fire after the fire comes promotion I'm coming out of this furnace I'm coming out of this trial I'm coming out of this storm I'm coming out of this divorce I'm coming out of this scandal I dare you to open your mouth and say I'm coming out I'm coming out give it praise yeah. Hallelujah I'm coming out 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 I dare you to open your mouth And say I'm coming out I'm coming out I've been tried I've been tested But I remain faithful it's my time. It's my season. Shout yes and help me give a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God, my God. Hallelujah. 
help me praise him after the fire after the fire after the fire comes promotion shout it's promotion time it's promotion time it's promotion time it's promotion time hallelujah yeah it's promotion time my god my god my god my god hallelujah god is able my god is able to do just what he said sing it he will do he's gonna fulfill he's gonna fulfill every promise to you never ever don't give up on god because he won't give up on you because he's able oh 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 sing it oh 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 i'm coming out i'm coming out i'm coming out i'm coming out yeah my God, my God, I'm coming out. 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 God's about to bring you out of the fire. God's about to bring you out of the fire. My God, you've been tried. My God, you've been tested. But I believe the Holy Ghost want me to say to a group of people tonight, you passed the test. You passed the test. It's promotion time. After the fire. After the fire comes promotion. God is about to trust you with more. Your authority is about to be increased. Are you listening to me tonight? Your relationship with God revelation knowledge the word of God God is about to trust you with a greater revelation a greater power a greater authority a greater anointing and for you that were faithful and little God's about to bring increase into your life he's about to increase you in the area of your finances in the area of your authority in the area of your influence in the area of your relationship with people God's about to increase you saints because the Bible says he promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon, in the whole realm of Babylon. He gave them a new authority. And not only that, he revoked his laws. He revoked his laws and he said, look, anybody who dares to open their mouth and speak a negative word against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, I will cut him in, in pieces and rip his house down and make a pile of heap. Uh, I'll turn your house into a junk heap. So the law of the land was overturned because of three men who refused to compromise. Three men that refused to lower their standard. And many of you on tonight you can attest to this message and say, Pastor Sean, this message is for me. I've been in the fire. I didn't understand God was allowing me to be tested. And now that you've proven yourself faithful, God is about to promote you. God is about to increase you. Are you listening to me tonight? I say, God is about to increase you. See, oh, 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 the lives of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. 
They were like a shadow and a type of Christ who would go into the lower parts of the earth, even into hell itself, in our place. Are you listening to me? And after Christ paid the ultimate price for mankind, on the third day, God called him from up out of that hell that he was in and raise him from the dead. And after 40 days and 40 nights of appearing to his apostles, the Bible says he ascended into heaven where he was seated at the right hand of the Father. Jesus Christ got the ultimate promotion, seated at the right hand of the Father. But even Jesus, he had to go through the fire first before his ultimate promotion came. And God has given him a name that's above every name. God has highly exalted him and given him a name above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Oh, 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 oh. He's able sing it, church. Sing. Oh, 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 oh. Mighty God, sing it. Oh, 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 oh. God is able. God is able to do just what He said He would do. He's gonna fulfill. He's gonna fulfill. Every promise to you. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up on you. Cause he's able. Oh, 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 oh. Father God on tonight. I pray over every brother. I pray over every sister that have been in the fire lately. God, I thank you for bringing them out of the fire. I thank you for calling them out of the fire of trials and tribulations. Some of your people went through divorce. Some of them went through eviction notices. Some of them went through car repossession, losing their houses, losing their homes. But I thank you that it's promotion time. The fiery furnace is over in the name of Jesus Christ. I said, you pass the test. The fiery furnace is over. The Bible says in Psalm chapter 66, verse 11 and 12, the Bible says, you brought us into the net. You caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and we went through water, but you brought us out into a wealthy place. God's bringing you out. I say God is bringing you up. And listen, I can't end without giving someone a chance, all to Jesus. There's a group of people on here tonight. You have never surrendered your life to the Lord Jesus. And for some of you others, you've surrendered your life to Christ, but you backslidden. You lost your relationship with the Lord Jesus tonight. And listen, God want me to tell you he loves you with an everlasting love. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Sing it. I surrender all all to thee my Blessed Savior, I surrender all. Listen, tonight is your night to surrender all to Jesus. He is calling you. He's reaching out to you through this message. He's calling you to surrender your life to Jesus. The Bible says if we believe in our heart and confess with our mouth that God raised Jesus from the dead on the third day, you shall be saved. For with the heart man believes, and with the mouth, confession is made to your salvation. 
without any further hesitation up across the nation. I want to lead you in the sinner's prayer right now. I want you to pray after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. You are the Son of God. I believe it with all of my heart that you died on Calvary Cross for a wretch like me. Forgive me of all of my sins. Jesus, wash me in your blood. I believe you died on Calvary for me. And on the third day, God raised you from the dead. I believe it. I believe that through your blood, my sins can be forgiven. So Lord Jesus, I ask you right now, forgive me of all of my sins. Wash me in your blood right now. I accept you into my life as Lord and Savior. From this day, I turn my back on the flesh, the world, and the devil. I will serve you until the day I die. Listen here, friend. If you prayed that prayer, your sins have been forgiven. Are you hearing me? I said your sins have been forgiven. The Bible says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away, and behold, all things have become new. Your sins have been forgiven. This day marks the day of a new beginning in your life, a new chapter. The old chapter is closed. The old you have been crucified with Christ. The new you have been resurrected with him. And we want to say to you, welcome into the kingdom of God. Your sins have been forgiven. You are now a child of God. You no longer belong to the devil. You belong to God. And one day, when you die, you'll open your eyes in heaven and hear those words. Well done, my good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Listen, <coughs> excuse me, if you've just prayed that prayer, give myself away. If you've just prayed that prayer, I want you to type in this live chat right now. And let us know, I've just surrendered my life to Jesus. Because we want to we wanna welcome you into the kingdom of God. Jesus said, if you be ashamed of me down here on this earth, if you be ashamed of me and my words, I'll be ashamed of you when you stand before my Father and the holy angels. So right now, I want you to type in the chat and let the whole world know you've just surrendered your life to Jesus. Type right now in the chat. We want to give a shout out to you that's just given your life to Jesus. Mighty God, sing it. I give myself away. Mighty God, sing it. I give myself away. So you, Shamalin Vitachi, God bless you. God bless you. Jahin, God bless you. Said, I just surrendered my life. Helena Daniels, God bless you. Diane, God bless you. God bless you. Mighty God, mighty God. Manya, God bless you. I give myself. I give myself. Sing it. I give myself away. Veronique, God bless you. I give myself away. So you. God bless you, Pauline. I give myself away. God bless you, Taylor. God bless you, Nancy. I give myself away. So you. Epiphany, God bless you. I give myself. God bless you, Tammy. Mighty God. God bless you, Raquel. Sing it to the Lord. 
I give myself away. Come on and sing it to the Lord tonight. I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. God bless you, Dawn. God bless you. God bless you, Jackie. Look at the people that's being saved and coming into the kingdom of God. God bless you, Amanda. Mighty God, I give myself away so you. God bless you, Elvin. God bless you, Narisa. GB Motors. God bless all of you. The Irvins, God bless you. God bless you, Wesley on Yango. God bless you, Isatu. My God, I give myself away so you can use me. Listen, welcome all of the new saints into the kingdom of God tonight. God bless you, Shanice. I want you type and tell them welcome into the kingdom of God. Let's give all the new people a great big welcome tonight. That's from me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy. We say to you, welcome into the kingdom of God. Your life will never be the same again. Sing it. I give myself away. Mighty God tonight, sing it. I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself. God bless you, Pamela. Mighty God, mighty God, I give myself away. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Welcome into the kingdom. You are a new creature in Christ. Your sins are forgiven. You are now a child of God on your way to heaven. We serve a good God. Listen, we love you guys. God will make a way. We love you guys. We appreciate all of you. We love all of you. That's for me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy. We love you guys. We appreciate all you do. All of our supporters, we love you guys. Our partners, our viewing audience, that helps share these videos and spread it around the world and share it through WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger. We appreciate your hard work. And if you did not have a chance to subscribe to our channel, subscribe right now by clicking on the red and white subscribe button below this video. Go ahead and subscribe right now. And we also give you an invitation to join our Facebook group. It's called I Believe in Miracles. So send us a request to join our Facebook group as well. I believe in miracles. We love you guys. And we will see you on Sunday night, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And that's 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I want to make a little announcement. To my folks down there in Nassau, Bahamas, to my people down there in Nassau, Bahamas, I will be coming to Nassau in the month of December, and we will give you the dates as soon as it is settled. So if you live in Nassau, Bahamas, get ready. We're coming to visit Kingdom Ambassadors World Outreach Church, and I'm looking forward. So we'll give you the dates. So if you are in Nassau, Bahamas, we want to hear from you. We want to hear from you. Type your email address inside this live chat or below this video. And if you live in Nassau, we will make sure email you that information. Amen. We love you guys. We appreciate you. And we say to you, may God bless you. May heaven shine on you. May God smile on you. May God give you favor. And may God give you your promotion because your fiery season is over. God bless you. We love you. Y'all take care. We'll see you Sunday night. Mighty God. When there seems to be no way. Forever. Sing it. 
Forever he is faithful.